Hello everybody. In this next video I'm going to show you how we can create a pivot table and a pivot chart using the data that we've already set up in our raw data. Now if you're following the series of videos that I've been that I've created, at this point you now have a workbook that imports data automatically when the user opens up the workbook and this table is already named as school data. So that's going to be the key. Um, if you haven't been following following these videos before you proceed into creating a pivot table or, or pivot chart, it may be useful for you to change your data into a table. If not, you're just, you'll just be selecting the data manually when you have your your reference creation for the pivot table and the pivot chart. So I'm going to go to my home tab. I'm going to select B3. This is where I'm going to have the the starting point of my pivot table. I'm going to insert pivot table and again you can use the cell selection option or you can just type in the name of your table. I'm going to type in the name of my table as school data and hit OK. And right now it's reading the data and this is where you'll begin putting the pivot table together. I am going to put a filter to where I'm going to want the state filtered and that's the USPS. I have a legend that's over here that tells me what the data represents. Column one is the the service date abbreviation. So I'm going to want that as my filter. On my left, I'm for this. I'm going to go on and have the name of the school, and the name of the school is column C. Um, and now, if you notice, my pivot table information has disappeared. But if you click the pivot table where you've started it, you'll see this tab up here that says Pivot Tools. And you can take off the field list or you can put it back on the screen. Once you're in production mode, probably the best thing to do for your users is to have that not visible. But because we're currently in design mode and we're designing this, we want to have it visible. And we want the name of the school to be our row label. So now it puts it over here. And then let's go ahead and do the, the population, which I already know is, is the name is pop 10. And that's going to be our value. So right now, this is only giving us ones because that's just telling us that from the data that this field only appears one time for this school. Now that's not useful for this report. We don't necessarily care for the count of it. In this report, what we're going to want is the sum. So like, I'm gonna give you an example. This Amherst School District actually occurs twice, but we don't want the count. What we're gonna want is the actual sum. So we're gonna pick it, select it, and do value field settings. And we're gonna change that to a sum and hit okay. So instead of us just getting a count, we're getting the, the sum of the values that are in the pop 10 column. And what, you can, what your user will now be able to do, like if you're to close out the field list and they have this as their front page you can change this to select state and you can call these you can call, rename this as school names and you can call this population sum so now when they come to select a state they can select multiple units and all, all I'm going to do is on check mark all I'm just going to put Arizona states Arizona schools and Connecticut and select OK and these are all the elementary school districts and again this data is only coming from a, a gazetteer file from from the census government website but it gives you now the the school name and the population count for these school districts for the filter that you have selected if you're only picking Arizona hit OK of course your list is going to get smaller but again it's only showing you Arizona the Arizona state now to create a pivot chart it's pretty much just as simple select the starting starting point F3 in this case and do insert pivot table and do pivot chart and again you type in the name of your table school data and then you can set up your fields um, you can still do the same thing select a state that'll be your your filter 
I'm going to say you, you're going to want the same information, the name of the school district, and then of course your values, the, the population. Set this up to where it's only showing you the, the sum. That's going to be a much messier chart because of what you're working with. But the moment, let's say we only, um, the, actually a better thing to do because of how many school districts there, there are, probably wouldn't be a good idea to make that chart, but instead have the state. And that which is giving you um, a large chart of the population sum for each state but your user will be able to change these filters here so if you want only if they only want to look at let's say Arizona Connecticut and Georgia select okay they have those three on the chart now again uh, the purpose of this report personally I would use this chart or a chart for this kind of data but in your projects it's this is something just to give you a, a head start on how you can create a pivot table or a pivot chart and in order for it to work with your macro so that it automatically updates every time that you every time that you open up the workbook this is what you're going to want to do in case you want to do that go to data and then just do refresh all but before you do that just do the record macro refresh all data refresh all and right there that's refreshing the the pivot tables and then go to your developers tab and hit stop recording so you have the refresh all this is just to refresh your pivot tables I'm gonna delete that all you need is active workbook dot refresh all so add this line of code into your import data but do it after the code is called just do active workbook dot refresh all so that way from now on, every time that you do import data, it'll automatically refresh your pivot tables too. I need to have it select sheet one again, so just do that little slight change. Sheet one dot select. Run that code again. And you're right now it's importing data and it's refresh your pivot table. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That can now concludes it. Thank you for watching.